guys, it's Wednesday, May 6th, and we are getting ready to do our phonics. So you'll be on the page that says Unit 25 up at the top. Okay, yesterday we started talking about suffixes. Now suffixes are, are groups of letters, or in some cases just a letter, that you put at the end of the word and it kind of might, at the end of a base word or root word, and it might, it will, can change the meaning of it, okay? So these are the suffixes that we talked about, S. S means more than one, or it can change the verb tense from like walk to walks, okay? F-U-L just means full of, so beautiful, full of beauty. Less means without, so hopeless would mean without hope. Ness means the condition or state of, so happiness means the condition or the state of being happy. Meant can turn a verb into a noun, okay? So excitement, okay? Well, excite um, means to kind of get happy about something, and that would be a verb, but excitement is showing um, that you are excited. Okay, and L-Y means done in a certain way. So if you are walking slowly, okay, you are doing it in a slow way. So let's come back over here. What we need to do here is if there is a consonant suffix, and these are the suffixes that we are looking at, okay, less, full, li, s, ness, and ment. Okay, if there is a consonant suffix, we will underline the consonant suffix and then put a check mark in the suffix column. Now, not all of them do have consonant suffixes, okay? So if it doesn't have a consonant suffix, we're not gonna do anything over here, and then we'll just check off no suffix over there, okay? And the schwa uh, spellings are circled. So here we have graceful, graceful, okay? Now again, remember, here the U is saying uh, uh, oh, okay? So graceful, well, and again, they did this one for you because you're lazy. So full is one of our suffixes. We underlined it and then put a check mark here in the suffix uh, column, okay? Here we have permanent. Again, these are flexing to the schwa. So permanent, permanent. Well, I see N-E-N-T. That's not one of my suffixes. I have M-E-N-T, but not N-E-N-T. So I'm just gonna come over here and put a check mark in my no suffix column, okay? Fine. Flexing to the schwa, Lee. Finally, finally. Well, I see an L-Y here, and I know that that's one of my suffixes. So I'm gonna underline that L-Y, and then I'm gonna put a check mark in my suffix column, okay? Then I have sleepless. Remember, this is flexing to the schwa, so it says I. Sleepless, sleepless. Well, I know less is one of my, less, I guess, is one of my suffixes. So I'm gonna underline less, and I'm gonna put a check mark here. So why don't you guys give the rest of them a try? Again, um, you have all the suffixes right here, so you can be looking for those letters, read the words, they have them broken up into their syllables, okay? And so if it does have a suffix, underline it and then put a check mark in the suffix column. If there is no suffix, you don't have to do anything to the word, just put a check mark in the no suffix column, okay? So go ahead, pause the video to do your work and we'll go over the answers in just a moment. Okay guys, here we go to go over our answers. So, we have argument, argument, okay? I got M-E-N-T, which says mint, because it's flexing to the schwa, so that has a suffix. I have duffel, duffel, here it's flexing to the schwa. Duffel, I don't see any of my suffixes from up there, so I'm gonna put a check mark in, no suffix. Access, access, okay? I have an ESS, but it's not an NESS or an LESS, so no suffix there. Actively, actively, actively. Again, this is flexing to the schwa. It says if, not I've. Actively. Well, I see that LY there, so I put a check mark in my suffix column. Dependent, or de, actually, because it's flexing to the schwa. Dependent, dependent. Well, I see an ENT, but it's not an MENT, so no suffix here. Teaspoonful, teaspoonful, teaspoonful. Well, I got F-U-L, so that's a suffix. Compartment, compartment, compartment. Okay, we got some schwa's there. Well, I see that M-E-N-T, that's one of my suffixes, so suffix goes there. And completely, completely. Well, I see that L-Y, 
That's one of my suffixes, so I put a check mark there. So here are your answers for the phonics for Wednesday, May 6th. Awesome job, everyone.